Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today's a super exciting one and uh, about to show you why. So the company iDoing sent us over a head unit for the car, which is something we've needed for a long time. If you remember, I wrapped the entire interior pretty much on that carbon fiber wrap and left the radio bezel uh, untouched because I had plans of getting a head unit and we finally got one. So a uh, huge shout out to iDoing for sending this over. So let's take everything out of this box. I'll show you everything that's included and we'll get it installed in the car. So this is everything that's included in the box. So we have obviously the head unit itself. That thing is freaking pretty. I think it's gonna look so sick. Um, and then all the wires. So I believe the main power is plug and play from the back of the stock head unit. Um, but then they include a bunch of other stuff. So we have, this is a 4G antenna, I believe, if you wanted to run 4G out of it. Some of the stuff I won't use uh, because, well, for example, like the backup camera, I don't have a camera. So we're not going to run that. Um, all I really need this for is the wireless CarPlay. And maybe, I think you can hook up Wi-Fi as well. So that might be cool to have. Um, this, I honestly have no idea what it is. I'm going to have to reach out to the guys over at iDoing. Figure out what that is. This is all like your aux and subwoofers and all that kind of stuff. I don't have subs in the car. So probably won't run those yet. This is just a USB plug-in. Um, and then this is the same thing, but two of them. This here is a GPS antenna. Um, not sure if I'm gonna run that yet because I'll just use CarPlay for the GPS. So not sure if I'm gonna use that. The mic right here, uh, this I'll probably run if the car doesn't have one already, just so when I'm talking on Bluetooth, people can hear me. This guy here is your radio antenna for the stock radio. So probably use that. This is a whole harness for like uh, camera controls and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if we're gonna use any of this, but we'll get to that. And this last one is your plug-in for your mic and the Wi-Fi, and it looks like a brake line, so, or a brake electrical line, I should say. So that's everything that's included in the box. Um, like I said, I think the main power wires are all plug and play from the original head unit. So let's jump in the car, we'll get the old one pulled out, and we'll get to installing this guy. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this bezel off. It's just clips, so you can kind of just reach around it and pull it all out, just like that. And then we'll have to go in and pull all these vents out. So now looking in here, it looks like we got a few screws, look like Phillips screws, and we should be able to pull this guy out and pull the wires off the back. Looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Now we should be able to just pull this guy out. So looking at all the wires back here, it looks like we just got a, a few of them. So just go ahead and unplug them all, just kind of like that. They're all just little clips with little push pins. So um, just push down, pull them all out, and then we can pull the head unit out. All right, so it's pretty nice and clean back here, honestly. We got the antenna. Uh, I believe this is the main power supply. Um, another harness that probably goes to, you know, all your steering wheel controls and stuff. I'm not sure where the stock mic for the car was because it did have Bluetooth. I'm thinking maybe right here could have been like the stock mic, but I'm really not sure. So we'll probably run the new one and I'll probably run it to like right in this area here. And to get there, we'll have to run through the back, through the back of the dash, probably up the pillar, and then to here. I'm gonna run outside, grab the head unit, we'll smack it in here, plug it in, make sure the basic stuff works, and then we'll get to running everything else. The main power supply will plug in here, the other one will plug in here, and we'll go from there. So just gonna start connecting wires, and we'll get this thing in, see how she works. Okay, so we kind of just have it sitting in there. Let's turn this on, see if she powers up. All 
All right, can't play much of that without getting copyrighted, but that works. Um, I gotta figure out how to get CarPlay to turn on. It's probably this guy, maybe? Oh, wow. It's really that easy? Wow. Okay, that's sick. That was super easy. And it is pretty responsive as well. That's freaking badass. Yo, shout out to iDoing. A lot of the head units I see like this either require like a little dongle or something like that. This one went instantly, so I'm super happy with that. The picture is phenomenal. And then, yeah, like I said, I'll probably just use the maps on here as a GPS. I would click on that, but it shows my address, and I'm not trying to leak that to the world yet. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, Spotify, everything on here works. Um, I, like I said, I can't really play much, but you know, I can come on here, listen to some St. John. Yeah, super, super nice. Um, but let's go ahead pull this out we got a few more things to hook up uh like for example this harness i'm not really sure what's the deal with that uh there's really no spot for it in the back of the unit so we'll have to figure that guy out we might not even use this not really too sure so looking at all these wires uh i already have the antenna in the car i'm not going to use the usbs since we have wireless car play uh the mic that's what I'm going to test next. I'm going to put the head unit in and like call someone and see if the stock mic works. If it does, no need for me to put the mic in. Subs and stuff. I don't have any subs in the car, so I can move that to the side. All this stuff, I think is just extras for other models of car that um, either they have a camera or um, just a lot of like, like amp control is on here for if you have subs. I don't, so I probably won't use that either. The 4G, I probably won't use that. We'll keep it all aside just in case I use it one day. The mic, like I said, we're going to try the stock one. GPS, I'm going to use CarPlay. And this guy, I have no idea what it is. So uh, probably don't need it. So what I'm going to do now, uh, we'll get the vents taken out of the old bezel and put into the new head unit. Um, and then I'll plug it in completely. Make sure all the functions work. Uh, when you shut the car off, it turns off. When you turn it on, it turns on, that kind of thing. And then what I'll do, I'll, I'll call like my parents or something, and I'll see if they can hear me and see how well they can hear me. If they can't hear me well, I'll throw the mic in. If not, there's no point in me putting it in. So, yeah, let's go ahead, get those uh, vents transferred over, cleaned up, and we'll get it back in the car. Okay, so on the back of this bezel, sorry for the dog barking in the background, but... We, uh, these little clips are the only thing that hold this vent in. So you just kind of like prime apart, probably take a regular screwdriver and we can pull these vents out. So now that I have this out, I'm just gonna take a rag, just kind of dust it off, make it clean while we have the chance. So we'll slap it right into here, same way we took it out of the old one. Then just go down and then clip it all together. That's all it is. Okay, so back in the car, let's get everything plugged back in again and we'll make a phone call out to the parents or something. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key, turn it to the on position. I'm not gonna turn the car on. It boots up. So now I just like to play around with the settings a little bit. And I know you can like change like the boot up screen and all that kind of stuff. So let's uh, connect via CarPlay and make a call out to the parents. So thing, we'll go to the apps, CarLink, it's pretty badass. Yo, hold on. I gotta see if you can hear me on this thing. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Uh, what's up? What are you? What are you doing? Are you making a video? Yeah. How's it going? It's going, dude. This thing was super easy. It just went right in. Are you almost done or what? Yeah. You wanna come over? And then should I come over after that? 
Yeah, yeah, that works. Uh, we'll go for a ride if you want, because this is probably going to be done. It literally took me 20 minutes to put this in. It was so easy. Oh, really? Yeah, this is super nice. It's got wireless CarPlay and everything. Can you hear me, like, really well, or what? Uh, yeah. Are you on your car speaker or something? Yeah, I didn't even hook up the mic. I'm just using the factory mic that was in the car. Um, yeah, it sounds like it's a, a higher quality, like, Normally, those are pretty shit. Right? Yeah. The Bluetooth in the car is pretty shit, um, but it sounds decent. I just talked to my buddy Tommy, and he said that it sounds pretty good, so I don't know if I'm really going to put the mic in or not. Um, if I don't have to, I probably won't. Steering wheel settings. We do have to do this. So to program the steering wheel controls, for example, I already did the, the plus sign for the up volume. So to do down volume, you just hold in the little minus sign, and then you will select the learning function. So you just hit the volume down and that's it. I can't really do that with the camera in my hand. So I'll set you down and we'll get all these programmed. Hit the minus down, tap the volume down button and we're good there. Um, let's see what else we got. We got track up and track down. So I think that's like skip and go back. It's either this, yeah, I think it's these ones here. So we'll do up would be this guy down would be that guy so pick up the phone would be this guy here uh end the call would be that guy so now if we try it out volume down volume up that all works yeah i think we're good so super easy there Let's see what else we got i'm probably going to turn off this beep i don't need it to beep every time i touch a button so let's see if we can find that sound keypad tone is that it Yes. Okay. Shoo. So let's see what else we got on here. If we go to the apps, we got file manager, gallery, steering wheel control. We already set that up. Calculator. I mean, you got all sorts of stuff on here. Play store, YouTube. Go on here, watch some YouTube. So if you connect to Wi-Fi, we'll be able to watch YouTube in the car. That's pretty cool. So overall, I'm super impressed with this thing. Um, I've installed a few head units, uh, like the one in my truck. It doesn't have wireless car play, and you know, you had to. I, I made my own wiring harness for it essentially. So, for this one to be this easy, literally all plug and play, I didn't add or subtract a single thing. Um, I'm super happy with it, really. The picture is phenomenal. I mean, it literally looks like 4K, and uh, <laughs> I, I can't argue with it. So, um, at the time being, super happy with it. If I wasn't, I would 100% tell you guys. And there's like a lot you can do with it, I know. And it just kind of takes some playing with. So if you wanted to pick one of these up, I'll have it linked down in the description box below, uh, this exact one. And I'll also have iDoing's Instagram and YouTube linked in the description box below. I'd highly recommend going with one of these. Um, like I said, I have no issues with it so far. But now, my favorite part of any uh, head unit install is pulling the plastic off the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh yes. Dang. She's clean, boys. That is so freaking clean. I don't know if you can see how clear that is, but I'm super happy with it. I'm just gonna keep playing around with this thing for a little while. If I find anything, I will bring it to your guys' attention. Okay, so after playing around with it for a few more minutes, I noticed one, that the sound is way better throughout the car than the stock radio. Um, and there's way more adjustments you can make, obviously, with the sound, such as like bass, treble, all that kind of stuff. It makes the sound a hundred times better, way more clear, way more defined. And uh, yeah, that's one thing I noticed right off the bat. Um, I know iDoing makes these head units for a ton of different cars. Uh, this specific one fits the 08 to 14 WRX, STI, Forester, Impreza, I believe. Um, but if you go and find their products online, you'll see they make these for freaking hundreds of cars. So I um, just want to give one last shout out to iDoing for sending over this head unit. And uh, yeah, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box below. I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, catch you in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.